Yikers on the map. Welcome to Dead by DMCA, by the way. <laughs> um, I did notice that my Iron Maiden cosmetic review video got copyright striked, and I've got a little bit to say about this because, you know, it's in terms of games itself and just how media is consumed these days, I do think it's utter fucking bullshit. So here we go into this little tangent. Um, I don't know why companies as a whole, not just in terms of Iron Maiden or behaviour in this particular instance, I do not understand why companies are so against what is objectively free advertising. Because as far as I'm concerned, if I see music that I like in a video game on somebody's, you know, gameplay video and music like that, I will actually go and look for the source material of that, as I did with um, Fear of the Dark and I actually liked it as a song. So this actually took me to Iron Maiden, something I wouldn't search, you know, if I didn't know it was in the game. That kind of thing. So when you have music playing in your video game that, you know, is licensed and in the same patch, you don't release some kind of... Where the fuck did he just go? Over there, I think. Uh, I think that was Sprint Burst. Um, you don't release some sort of way to mute it or, you know, stop people from having the channels DMCA'd as a result. You know, what is the fucking point, quite honestly? Did he go over there? I'm too distracted here by this rant. We might be tunneling in this one, though. They all know how to loop, which means I just auto lose. I'm going to try and take this pallet. Made a mistake there, so we can get an it, maybe. I'll do. That's a shack. Nobody's going to pop uh, on his grounds, which I'm using in this one, because I need to um, do exposed. It is sprint burst, okay. Yeah, we're fucked. They all know how to um, path and loop, so we just auto lose. We're a killer without a chase power, unfortunately. That's why this game's design is so bad, because if you have something that doesn't do anything in chase, you're a wee bit fucked. We only just get that. It doesn't help as well when killers these days are the same speed as survivors. Trying to make him hesitate. Didn't go inside. Yeah, he's gone over there. They're not falling for anything, so we're just going to lose. It's as simple as that. But anyway, back to the DMC argument, because this game's going to be a nothing burger. Um, I don't understand why they are so objectively against free advertising, because that's what it is. When somebody's put their music in, you know, a video and things like that. It's like you would rather pay some fucking massive, huge conglomerate to do your advertising for you over somebody who puts it in a video and gives it you for free. <laughs> it's like, why? You know? I've given up on this game already, guys, by the way. I'm just uh, doing it for the rant at this point. We'll go and see if this girl can run, if she can. We'll uh, let him out at the end. I don't know where she went at the end of here. She went over this way, maybe. Don't know, don't know where she went. Who's that one? Maybe this guy's a bit different. I'm not going to waste time kicking gens because it doesn't do anything. Can't get in range of anybody because I'm the same speed as them. Don't know where he went. Where did he go? I looked away for a second. Right, I'm gonna write this one off. I'm just gonna let them do gens. There's no gameplay. Um, I'll stick another one onto the thing. We'll just leave it in for the discussion on, um, you know, copyright and things like that. I do think it's uh, 
just bullshit, quite honestly. Um, I don't know why you you are. It's it's not even Dead by Daylight or Iron Maiden. Anyway, it's just a case of like I don't understand why we got to this issue where you can't actually play any kind of music in games anymore because it doesn't like as I keep saying it's it's free advertising. So people who see this video and their ears catch, you know, hearing of this music, they're going to go to your, to the source, basically, and they're going to, you know, have a look at what else there is once they're there, because they like the sound of this song, so they're going to think, hang on a minute, the rest of that content is also going to be the same, you know, that kind of thing. And it's, you know, I just don't understand, because right at the beginning of the internet, we didn't have this issue. You could put your fucking music in your videos, you know? And it was a much happier place as far as I'm concerned, anyway, because I like music. I'd, I'd love to be able to put music in my videos, you know, just as the stuff that I listen to and things like that. Sort of like, you know, rock and metal and all that kind of thing, because it lifts moods while you're watching as well. Um, especially in a game like this that doesn't... Well, it does have music, it has the chase music, but it's not overly, um, you know, a musical style game. And you do see people on Twitch that have music playing in the background, you know, quietly, that kind of thing. But... I can't do that because as soon as I put any sort of song in my game, or my video I should say, I get slapped with demonetization. <laughs> and it's like, you're punishing people for free advertising. Yeah? It's bullshit, quite honestly. But anyway, there's the end of the rant. Um, we're just going to wait for him to finish this rant and I'll do a proper game in the next one before this goes on a bit too long. Ah, there we go. So I'll see you on the next one. We move on to the pantry then. Here's hoping there is gameplay in this one though, so we'll see, you know. Um, is that somebody over there, man? Fucking hell, okay. Huh. That was very uh, close. Walking around too much, I might lose the game for that. That's not, it's not satire when I say that, and I, I really wish it was as well. Like, it's not me taking the piss these days with how easy it is for a survivor. All these people that are bitching and moaning on the forums are only thinking of themselves in solo. They're not thinking of the damage that the uh, complaints are actually doing to the game. when you give all these second chances to people that do know how to play the game and that do play in groups it produces this bullshit fucking game loop that we have now it's a sprint burst join upstairs that was the one that goes to outside innit yeah I was gonna go back back downstairs try and get it but it's fine one gen gun she was still there then. Uh, they've all got sprint burst as well. I think she's still there. Yeah, there she is. Only just get that. It's about to be two gens. I don't stop that, so we're not going to bother. It just, it, it does genuinely make me laugh though when there are people on the forums that do actually cry about this game, like it being uh, killer sided. But it's never been easier to play Survivor. When you're in um, coordinated groups or in even cases like this maybe where it is solo. As long as you've got people doing gens, you're going to win. It's as simple as that. I, I really want somebody to just pop one of these haunted ground totems. I, I sound like a right fucking complainer, but there's just it, it's things about this game that piss me off because there's, there's a challenge at the moment in the tome that I'm trying to progress through, but there's no there's no alternate way to go in this tome. You have to do this challenge to progress with it, and I have to expose to targets, which is you know something outside of the play style that I normally play. So. I have to start running these perks and like throwing games as a result, you know. We're going for her again because it's the only chance I'm going to have. 
Why do killers tunnel, guys? Why do they tunnel every game? You think it's a bit unfair? Killer's so easy, why are you tunneling? Says the person that doesn't play uh, killer. There you go, there's another gen in the background as well. Because, you know, <laughs> I can't be in six different fucking places at once, unfortunately. Um, oh yes. We're going to get this girl on the hook. That's the... No, it's the second hook. Do we even get this? Because this is a hook dead zone. Ah, oh, there's the other gen as well. What's the problematic killer perk of this week, fellas? What are we going to cry on Steam about? That's an obvious sprint burst. I know it's not. What the fuck did you wait for then? I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point, because you can fuck up as many times as you like and still win as a uh, survivor. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Fucking hilarious. We're going to keep a mental idea, um, an idea of where she is, because we're going to down you. And then we're immediately going to go back to Jill, who is up here somewhere. Do we're running this way. I'm going to get her out of the way and then we'll get Jill. There's still another person on gens at the moment though. So we could still lose the last gen. But again, I can't just defend gens, you know, as all the survivor mains say, because I actually have to chase people to do my objective. <laughs> uh. It's just something we call common sense, ladies and gentlemen, but it's something this community severely lacks, unfortunately. So we get one out. Kind of predictable. This isn't even me attacking these players, by the way, either. I always like to just put that in there as well. It's me attacking... There it is. See? If I didn't chase her, I wouldn't have got this. So... What the fuck do you want me to do? Just give up a chase on an injured Ada? You know? We've been consistent... We I don't think we've actually been out of a chase in this game. For me to use my traversal like this. I don't even see the aura of the um, the obsession. We're going to go back over because I have a feeling they're on the way. I might just sit in this locker and then we'll go for um, whoever comes for the rescue. There you go. Do you get that save? Her looping wasn't great, so we'll go for her. I didn't hook this girl, though, I don't think. We just um, in capped her. Uh, there's no lockers in the middle of the map, is there? I need to find out where she is. There she is. Ah, shit, I could have gone for them, actually. Yeah, they're waiting at the door. It's actually not done, that's strange. Exit gates are almost instant these, ga uh, these days as well. This killer doesn't have a chase power when you're moving in a straight line, by the way. You can't use your remnant because it'll just spawn behind you. So this is an example of what I say when the chase is in uh, survivor's favour. I mean, look at it. She's the same fucking speed as me, bar a very slight um, difference. So she can pretty much cross map. Now I've lost her because I don't know where she's gone. We have to chase them two out so I, they couldn't revive. Fuck it, we'll just get the points. Can't be asked. She might have gone to the other side, maybe, but I don't know. No, yeah, she's not on there. She's healing somewhere, which means if she's near the door, she's out anyway. There's no counterplay to that. 
Unless, lo and behold, you know, we have no head. We can't use that, can we? Killers aren't allowed to have power. Well, this is free now anyway, even if we see her here, because we can just hit her, I get slowed down, she gets a speed boost and she's out. Unless she's gone to that one, maybe. Well, I doubt it. She also has hatch as well. Yeah, she's not that one. She's probably looking for the hatch if I had to guess. Nah, she's there. So there it is. Oh, so killer sided, ladies and gentlemen. I think we was at one gen about three minutes into this game. But I am not a miracle worker, unfortunately. I can't be in six different places at once. So there it is. This is the challenge I'm talking about, by the way. Um, yeah. I just love challenges that, you know, <clears throat> are required like this one. That, you know, you have to basically either play Myers or get no head off to get <laughs> these days. So, yeah. That's going to be sat there for quite a while, and it does obstruct my progression through the pass, but, you know, maybe we'll get it at some point. I just need to hope I go against new players, maybe. But yeah, there's a video for you. As I say, it will go up on the channel, like, I'm showing this game in its rawest of forms. I'm not some streamer that sits here and smiles and waves through what is actually a shit game. But, you know... As far as I'm concerned, it's a video. So, I, I mean, in the first round anyway, I, I'm quite happy with that anyway because, you know, we had a talking point. I managed to, you know, get that off my chest, what I was feeling about the copyright sort of thing because it's just, like, it, it does my head in. Like, how you can't you limit creativity these days because it's like, oh, you're taking our money. But it's like, no, no, we're not. Nobody's taking your fucking money. The only money we're getting out of this is through YouTube that pays us, you know? Whoever's put in these copyright strikes, whatever, you know, on the videos, they need to fucking realise that it's not an attack on them. If you know what I mean? Like, it's literally just somebody trying to enjoy themselves and also actually celebrate your content themselves that you're actually turning <laughs> that person into the enemy because of, you know, that kind of thing. Because it is free advertising. That's what it is. Whenever a song appears in a YouTube video... That is free advertising for whoever that song belongs to, because viewers who like that, and liking it's a, just a broader term which, you know, they can listen to it by you and they might not like it, or they can listen to it by, you know, in a, in a video and then they might like it there, so they will come to the source because they'll be looking for more of that. People generally go looking for things they enjoy, you know? So if you put a song in a video, they will look for it if they like it. And what does that mean? That is free advertising because it sends people your way. It's it's just, it, it fucking baffles me, honestly. I, I mean, I might sound really fucking stupid here. There might be some fucking law and things, but as far as I'm concerned, like, from my viewpoint, as far as I'm concerned, as both a content creator and a viewer of content, because I've, you know, as I said, I've watched videos with music in them before that I've enjoyed the music over the tops of like gameplay and things like that and then I've actually gone and looked at the original creator so it's I've been in that particular instance traffic for them and I've, I've gone to their stuff and in some cases I've actually enjoyed their content and you know I've become a fan as a result but with this copyright shit you're essentially stopping that from happening and basically saying that again as I said you'd rather pay some massive fucking expensive advertising agency for something that you could be getting for free, <laughs> you know? I, I just, I don't fucking understand it, honestly, um, in terms of, like, how copyrighted the media world is these days where you can't do a fucking thing in terms of creativity without it being copyrighted striked, you know? Unless it's actually just the very bare-bones vanilla product that you're presenting like it is here. Um... Because it's like, if I was to put any sort of DVD chase music or any, anything like that into 
another game over, you know, to create like a tense moment or something like that, I'd get fucking shot down for it, you know, regardless of whether I put that music being by Michelle April and being from Dead by Daylight in the description, you know, they'd still fucking shoot you down for that, even though you are directly fucking advertising that content. Fucking weird, mate. Anyway, there it is. That's a more sensible version of what was going on in the fucking first shit show of this video. Um... But yeah, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed. It's a bit passionate with the chatter, but you know, it's just it's who I am. I go in my rants and I, I speak my mind, and it's not something that you know I'm necessarily bragging about. It genuinely isn't. It's just who I actually am. So you know, I've got a lot to say about things that I've sort of observed over the years. You know, as a 27-year-old boomer on the internet, you know that kind of thing. Now there's a, there's been changes that I've thought. Nah, that's bullshit, mate. You know, um, so I just like to speak about them. But anyway, there it is. Hope you've enjoyed. We've been disconnected again because it's one of them lengthy chatters at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, there it is. Hope you've enjoyed for what we got out of this gameplay wise. We had a fucking Gen Rush game in the last one that was only anything that resembled a game. And the first game, I am a killer without a chase power against survivors that didn't make mistakes. And that's what that looks like. So, yeah, uh, just to address the fact as well that if I did go for my remnant power, they can actually remove the remnant power by just walking into it, or the tried and tested counter to Dredge that I know of and I taught myself by playing Survivor is as soon as he starts uh, channeling the remnant, you simply hold W in the other direction and reset the entire fucking chase. So there it is <laughs> as far as i'm concerned um he is a killer without chase power because it's fucking shite the only reason you're going to get survivors with the remnant is when they are new and they don't understand how it works so in an instance like the first round you're not fucking getting anybody um with this killer and you can try and teleport to lockers but there's also a big fucking sound cue and the locker also vibrates or shakes when the um the dredge lands in it so unless they're unless they're actually deaf and blind they're gonna know you're in that locker as well so they'll just turn tail and run the other way again so anyway there it is hope you've enjoyed and i will hopefully see you for the next one bye